welcome back to my channel so for today's video i want to talk all about my filming setup i'm going to finally show it to you guys it has been quite some time ton of you have asked what type of camera i use and lighting and finally i'm going to be able to share all that stuff all the tips and tricks to get the perfect lighting setup because i have spent coins i have spent time trying to get this perfect setup for you guys and if you do like my instagram videos i'm going to show you exactly the products that i use and i'm also going to have some cheaper alternatives as well because there have been things that i've picked up throughout the years that have worked for me and i've kind of upgraded them but i still want to talk about them because i think that they are super informative and something that i think will add value to you guys especially if you're trying to break into this industry so without further ado let's jump into it so when you walk down the stairs and you go to the right, this is the area that is kind of like a separate like editing area because I don't always want to edit in the office and sometimes I just want like a really quiet space. So we put a couch down here and then this chair was originally in our bedroom and I wasn't feeling like the vibe. So we moved it down here and we also have two Alex drawers down here that are just going to be for extra makeup or any equipment that we have because this whole space is just dedicated to filming which makes me so so happy and so this is the couch and then this is another Alex drawer this one is just going to be filled with camera equipment and we have some extra chairs I also have these two whiteboards down here if you guys ever experience issues with lighting and you have like a lot of shadows we bought these these are foam boards you can get them from Home Depot they're super cheap and you just like clip them to the side of you like this and it kind of bounces the light off of here. If you don't have like three points of light, you can use these whiteboards to kind of bounce the light so it cancels out some of the shadows. I haven't been using them since we've been in this space, but I wanted to keep them just in case I ever wanted to come back to them and use them in the future, although I could probably replace them. But for right now, we're leaving them in the corner. <laughs> I also have this backdrop pole down here. This is for when I don't want a lifestyle setting and I wanna put like a colored backdrop, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. And all I do is basically, because it's super lightweight, I just basically pick it up and I move it to the filming area. I set it up, I bring the fabric over it, and then I clip it down so that it stays nice and taut. And then I start filming. And right here we have the laundry room and then I have my huge Glencore mirror, which I finally was able to find a space for. So I moved this downstairs. It was actually in my beauty room closet. So nice. It has like such gorgeous lighting. I used to take pictures in this in my old beauty space when I had it set up. But now I can finally take pictures of it again. And then we have all of my different backdrops, which I need to get a few more because I haven't had like a new backdrop in a while. And I feel like I've used these to death. Minus maybe like one or two that I wasn't like super feeling. But I just have them all set up here. So depending on what kind of look I'm going for will determine the backdrop that I choose or if I just want to leave it with the little lifestyle backdrop. And then we're stepping in to now like the back of the filming setting. So this is the little white bookshelf that I got. I got this one from Wayfair and then I just have a few decorative things on here. I still need to find something for this shelf and this shelf. I've been checking like everywhere trying to find like some cute little home decor pieces and I haven't been able to find them. I actually found this painting at Home Goods and this candle is from Target. And this palm tree, this is a fake one. I got this from Wayfair as well. This is my filming setup, which is not too, too crazy. I feel like I've seen others and it's been like OD, but I feel like I have a good amount of lights. I do have five lights because I wanted to kind of be like encased with lighting. So I have my two points right there, and then I have these two which light up the backdrop, and I have one hair light. So I wanted to talk a little bit about them. So you guys can see it from this angle. So I have two of these. These are called eye can lightings. These were actually pretty pricey, um, but they're totally worth the money. I'm super happy with them. I've been using them for a few years now. So I just have two of those, and then I have a diffuser in front of them. So what a diffuser does is just softens the light so that it's not as harsh and it doesn't look like direct light it kind of just makes it nice and soft and then i have my camera right here the camera that i use is the canon 5d mark IV, which i absolutely love it will be a while until i replace this one then i have my mic right here and everything is going to be linked i have my mic and my zoom my zoom is basically what transfers the sound directly on to the video and it just gives me really nice clean crisp sound and this mic was also pretty expensive i used to use a lavalier which worked perfectly it just clips to you 
and the road mic is also really really good but i wanted something that was like so crisp and so clean so i decided to go with this one which is one of the higher end mics and i just want to show you i have everything plugged in to one plug so it basically turns on all of the lights minus this one which i have to hit and that one which is plugged onto a different uh, plug i also have this reflective board right here which is just going to bounce some of the light that's coming from here onto my face so that it eliminates some of the shadows so this is what it looks like when it's completely lit i also have my reiki this is the mirror that i've talked about a few times this one also has a light but i don't usually turn that light on when i film and since the canon 5d mark IV does not have a flip out monitor which is something that i always talk about that's really important to have i use the canon app on my ipad so i'm able to see myself i can also change the aperture and a few different features within the camera you guys know the way that i film i look like i have close-up shots and bar shots it's because i film with two cameras so the other camera that i use which i love and this one used to be my main camera it is the canon rebel t5i and this one does come with a flip out screen and it's also a touch screen as well and it has autofocus. Those are two things that you definitely want to make sure that you look for in a camera is autofocus and a flip out screen if possible. If not, you're still able to get a monitor so that you're able to mirror what's going on in the camera. Just to show you guys an example what it looks like. So it mirrors exactly what's happening behind the camera since it doesn't have a flip out screen. So you guys can see that you can control a few of the camera features right on the screen, which is really nice. You can also, this is what you can hit record and stop with. And then just to show you guys, this is what the lighting looks like. <laughs> I wanna show you guys exactly what it looks like when I don't have any of the lights on. And then when I turn all the lights on, so let me sit down really quick so you guys can see the difference. One, two, and this is the only light that I have to hit the switch for. So I have my two main lights right there and you can see that it's nice and diffused. If I were to move that diffuser board, it would look completely different. Babe, can you grab that? Can you just take it off really quick? I'm not sure if it looks that different in here, but like the light is almost like hurting my eyes. So I wouldn't be able to keep my eyes open for a long time. So what the diffuser does, just grab that and pick it up and put it in front of the, and see if people can see the difference. If you put a diffuser on, you can see that it just softens the light. So it doesn't look as harsh and it's giving you more of that like daylight, but not direct light. These lights are also really great. They're similar to the ICANN lights, which are the two main lights that I have. They're just significantly smaller but these were i think 200 bucks on amazon for two of them which is a really really good deal because each of those eye can lights are pretty expensive and it gives a good amount of light so you guys can see and you can also change how cool or how warm the light is so you can make it really just warm cool and warm or just cool which is something that i really like i like it somewhere in the middle i'm just gonna put this okay. something else that i really like about this hair light if you guys have ever watched my videos you know sometimes i'll have like a purple backdrop but the lights will be pink so what i use is this one right here you can actually change this so that it's different colors it'll be yellow green purple blue it changes through all of the primary shades You can make it green. Blue, yellow, which is really cool. And then I can do the same with this bulb. This one is called a Philips Hue bulb and it does the exact same thing. So I can change this to whatever color. I can do all the whites and I gotta do pink, purple, green, yellow. But right now it's just set to white. So you guys can see with the Philips bulb, you can change it using this app. To go to any color that you want it'll go through all of the primary shades which this one's pretty cool i also have some of these set up throughout the house and you can also do all the different tones of white as well so these lights are really really cool especially if you just want to change your backdrop up a little bit just by adding some of uh, colored lighting it'll give it that like little extra jazz 
that's basically my lighting setup. Something else that you can use that I used for years is a ring light. A ring light is super inexpensive. You can get one for maybe like 60 or 70 bucks on Amazon or they have some that are a little bit bigger and more expensive, but you can get them pretty reasonably priced. And what I used to use is just natural lighting and use a ring light and not use any backlighting just because I wanted it to look nice and natural. And also I had no idea what <laughs> lights to get, but now I feel like I have a little bit more knowledge of lighting. So I'm able to recommend some to you guys. So the eye can lightings I love, I've been using those for years. These are pretty new for me. These are the ones that I got on Amazon, which I will link and I've had this hair light for quite some time and the backlight as well. I've had it for a little bit of time because I do have some of those colored bulbs all over the house. Depending on what vibe I'm going for, I like to change them out. But yeah, that's basically my setup. I do have some brushes and some sponges down here just so that I don't have to constantly run upstairs. And I have a few uh, products of things that I'm going to film in the future as well. But yeah, I think that that's basically it. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I will be making more techie videos. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.